Good morning. Thank you, Jeanette. Uh, we're really happy to be here. And uh, I wish you had been here for three years. <laughs> but welcome. We're thrilled to have you. Uh, I, uh, I am uh, Carol Post. I'm the Commissioner for the Department of Information Technology and Telecommunications. And uh, as such, um, our, our uh, agency, we refer to it as Do It. We are the IT um, agency for New York City. And in that role, we essentially power all of New York City's IT infrastructure, uh, which is an enormous uh, role and enormous task. We refer to it often as sort of keeping the lights on. And that in itself is a, is a huge undertaking. But much of what we're, we've worked on in the last couple of years and will definitely be focusing on in the future is as much about keeping the lights on as innovating and modernizing how the city operates and how it uses technology to really deliver city services and engage the, uh, its constituents. So I think our focus, what I wanted to highlight for today's discussion, were really three things that we're um, that we're focusing on that are key to we think the, the future for uh, the IT element of New York City. And the first is really fostering and encouraging the use of social media. And we have um, kind of a wide array of. Uh, skill sets and comfort level within the New York City agencies with social media. I think uh, Diana, my colleague, will be um, sort of flipping through some visuals behind me where you can see some city agencies are quite active in using these tools and really engaging their customers. Um, but it's, um, it's a little few and far between and uh, we, we really want to make sure that all of our government entities are comfortable with these tools. This really is sort of the future in the way that that citizens all around the globe uh, will be interacting with their government. So we feel like we want to be able to facilitate and encourage that. We've set up a group within our agency to encourage agencies to, um, to build these sites, to help them build these sites, to seed the communications a little bit. And along with Jeanette and some folks at the mayor's office, sort of fostering a mentorship relationship so that our city agencies can get comfortable with uh, responsible social media and, um, and, and sort of keep pace with it. Uh, the second thing that we're working on is to really evolve the way that city agencies interact with their customers and, and how they deliver their services. And the, I think the best example of that is 311. It's the most popular channel for people to engage with New York City. And it's been a phone channel since its inception. It's great, it works well, but not always the way that people are communicating today. So in the past couple of years, we converted all of the telephone, the information you received by calling 311 onto 311 online. Pretty, you know, pretty um, easy conversion there, but now you have 311 online where you can find all the information and, uh, and lodge complaints electronically. We then evolved it into the 311 mobile app. So you can now download it on your iPhone or in construction to have it on Android phones as well. And ultimately, sort of all of the platforms that might be out there. Um, but again, sort of trying to keep pace with the way that our customers would engage with us. Um, the next edition of this would be something like text messaging. So rather than having to call or even go online um, or use your mobile phone, you just text your complaint or your question and you would get a response right back via text message. These are things that are sort of in construction down the horizon, but the notion is to keep pace and use those tools where we're already delivering city services, but uh, modernize them through channels that are more, um, that are sort of keeping, uh, keeping up with um, the way that constituents want to engage with the, with the government. One other example, which is really recent, was the addition of our snow update. So we had, of course, all these snowstorms that, um, that were occurring and it was really vital for people to get information quickly about school closings and traffic conditions and <laughs> parking rules and those kinds of things. So we very quickly um, put up a snow update site. It's great, it was a nice resource to be able to quickly get information, but I think what was most important about it, and a little bit of a, a, a step forward for the city, was it enabled visitors to the site to post comments, to upload photographs, and um, place push pins on a map that identified where you know, really egregious conditions might exist in their neighborhoods. And it was as much about informing the city about what was going on because we can't be everywhere all the time. Um, so that was helpful. But it was also about creating this sort of community of conversation around what was going on with snow. So we were excited to be able to, to sort of um, have that available to the citizens and that's the kind of thing we would want to do more of. I think the last point that we're focusing on 
is this notion of open data and the idea that the city and our city agencies are very rich with data and information and sources of information. We haven't always made it very easily available and readily available. So in the past couple of years, we developed the New York City data line. It currently houses more than 300 data sets that can be used both for information purposes, but more importantly, we think to sort of collectively pull data and information together, mash it up, and make these really interesting outcomes out of it in applications, which my colleague will speak about. So that kind of lays a, the groundwork for what we want to do to get um, to, to advance our agency, help foster these kinds of things around the city, and make the city more of a uh, engaged with its citizens in a two-way conversation and not just a, a passive um, uh, entity that uh, provides the services.